see that started in 2013. We had our 10th anniversary celebrations last year. Um, it was set up by a person who lived on the estate, who went to a local church, had a, a passion and vision for setting a food bank up. And at first it very much covered um, just the local estate. And now we cover the S8 postcode and the S17 postcode. The social security safety net started to sort of have bigger and bigger holes in it. Um, the sanction regime through the DWP was coming in. People having their benefits stopped for sometimes quite arbitrary reasons and um, people were in, in short, at that time people were in short term crisis. In 2022, demand doubled over 2021, and in 2023, it doubled again. So that's 300% growth in two years. And if we were a business, or if we were one of Liz Tross's pies, that would be fantastic. If you're a food bank, that's really quite appalling. We have these special dietary needs, and the most common ones are people who are vegetarian or follow a halal diet. And we've got packing guidelines for, for, all, for those cases. But if, if you tell us someone's allergic to onion, we will, search, we will look at every single pack, list of ingredients and every single tin of the bag we pack and make sure there's no onion in there. Um, lactose free, tomato free, we've had all those as allergies coming through and we, and we do our best to make sure and provide that um, food that's suitable. When people first come to us, we offer them for eight weeks support or food of emergency food parcels which are pre-packed. Um, people can make many minor alterations. We will swap coffee for tea. We can't repack the whole bag for people. But if people come into us long term, um, if they're going for, to working towards a debt relief order, or if they're applying for disability related benefits, which can all take months, we encourage them to move to our food pantry if they can get here. We ask for a two pound donation, and people get fresh bread, fresh milk, a fresh protein source every week. And lots of the food is the same as it would be the food, but people can choose what they want. So they'll have a list. So they can take you know, three tins of soup, they can choose which tins of soup they want, they can choose which tin meat they want, so people have more choice over what they take. One of the things that we've had at our food bank since I think 2015 is a citizen's advice worker. That was initially funded by a grant from Sheffield City Council and then by the big lottery. But um, that grant funding ended just before COVID and since COVID restrictions have ended, we've paid for that out of food bank funds to have a citizen's advice worker for a, working for a day and a half a week and a debt worker working for a day a week to help our clients. If they need to see our debt worker, we'll, we'll support them all the way through the process of applying for debt relief order. If they need to see have forms filled in for disability related benefits, we'll help with those. Um, so, and our citizens advice workers recover thousands of pounds back for our clients. So that's a way in which we are, that's the, that's the most common way which we have to see people getting on their feet and not needing the food bank anymore. Two years ago, we were one of the best supported food banks in Sheffield for donations in terms of donations relative to what we gave out. We were able to give food to other local food banks in Sheffield. And now well over half the food that we give out is bought with donated money and we're spending £1,500 a week on food. Um, we did find that in COVID people switched from donating food to donating money and many people have never gone back to shopping to supermarkets. So our financial donations have gone up. Our food donations haven't dropped but they haven't, haven't risen anywhere near in line with, with demand so we're spending donated money on food and we've been applying for, we've had some very generous grants this year from um, the postcode lottery and from the national lottery but we're really keeping us going at the moment. So Thomas, I was looking up and it's over a year since you first came to the food bank. Yeah. I think it was a problem with your electricity bill that brought you here, was it? Yeah, it was because I'd just moved house and I was getting a lot of doubled up bills at the time, as of course quite often happens nowadays when you move into it, it all gets synced together. And I was just struggling to pay anything other than bills. It took about three months to get all the paperwork actually sorted out. So how did the feedback help you in that time? It, it's made sure I can keep some level of stability while trying to sort out a lot of debt issues. It meant that I actually had enough food to live on. So that because yeah, I could not afford very much beyond bills at the time. I think it helps more than just the person who's receiving the food. I think it also has a positive knock-on impact on the wider society because it, it helps to prevent issues that could cause problems. To be honest, if there wasn't this kind of support available, 
It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people would resort to shoplifting to feed themselves. I'm very grateful that the support does exist when it's needed. But I did, I did find out through something I was listening to on the radio like late last year that there are currently more food banks in Britain than there are branches of McDonald's. And when you think McDonald's is absolutely everywhere. And I'm, great, like I said, I'm grateful the support exists for everyone who needs it. But I think it's, on a national level, it's a bit of a disgrace that that level of support is needed. So you came to our, initially came to our food bank and you got a, a, a food parcel every week, didn't you? Then yeah. we moved you on to what we call our shop, didn't we? Our food pantry. Yeah, which for me was definitely better. I think a lot of it is because one of my biggest hates in the world is food wasted. And of course, when I just pick up the pre-packed up the bag. I don't, I don't know what's in it. I don't know whether it's going to be food that I actually like eating or not. I mean, fortunately, I'm not a very picky eater. So I will eat most things. But there will be always a couple of things that are no use to me. And that's a bit wasteful when I can't make use of it. So at least with using the food shop, it means that I, can, it means that I know I will be able to use everything I get. Since then, you also be coming to my cooking group on a Tuesday. Tell us about the cooking group, what that means to you. I would say it's absolutely the highlight of my week. It's not just the support it gives me with my food budgeting, with the food from the group. It's the whole social side of it as well. Because I've always enjoyed cooking. And it also means it's a meal that I'm not sat alone eating. One Grace Food Bank client who did not want to be identified told us the main reason I came to the food bank was the financial crisis and the increase in prices in almost everything that recently affected so many people, especially people in our community. I was struggling to provide for the basic needs of me and my family. I was referred to the food bank and it really helped us during the crisis. I would really struggle if the food bank wasn't here. I might have had to get a loan or ask my friends if they could lend me some money, which is challenging. Asking for money is challenging and of course you have to pay it back. Now I'm using the food bank shop, which is a lot better because I take only the things that I know I really need. They meet everyone's needs, whether you're vegetarian, vegan, or you eat halal food. There are options available, and you can ask for help if you can't find what you're looking for. We get a warm welcome whenever we come, and that gives us the confidence to come again. Everybody treats us well and with respect. What's more, the citizen's advice worker at the food bank has been very helpful. I needed some help filling in some forms. She was very kind, understood my needs, gave me appropriate advice and showed me where to go for more help. I also got help through the food bank to apply for a grant because I had moved home and needed financial assistance to make my home secure for my child who has special needs.